Hey everyone, welcome to a 2016 ASP instructional video. In this video I'm going to introduce something new. Well, you may have already seen it uh, working with our servo board, but uh, throughout 2016 I'm going to start implementing the ability to program your RCTA boards using just your radio here. Okay, your radio along. And in this particular case, what I'm going to run through with you is how to set all the IR battle parameters. Um, for ASP. Now, prior to this, you've needed to use a Sony TV remote to set your IR battle parameters. Now, some of you, I've noticed many of you don't buy the remote from me, so I'm assuming very few of you actually do it. So, I uh, really would uh, like to introduce you to all the wonderful modes that ASP has as far as infrared battle. So, to make it easier for you to set your tanks up, uh, I've implemented a system here both with instruction on an LCD and sound um, so you can edit the IR parameters for your battle system. So before the 9X goes off because I'm not touching the sticks I'm going to start this all up and show you how to do it. Well the first thing actually you need to do um, it uh, to let ASP know you want to program it using your radio um, you need to turn your unit on, uh, have your radio connected of course and the receiver connected and in this particular case you're going to need and I'll just flick the switch up to show you you're going to have to need, you're going to need both channels 3 and channel 4 at 100 percent okay so if you if you turn on your ASP with channel 3 and channel 4 at 100 percent ASP will recognize hey I need to go into programming mode and and we'll do that so We've got three and four, as you can see here, at 100%. So let's turn on our ASP. Now, ASP will start up, and basically it needs to run through the Mako initialization first, and then uh, you'll get your, your message Boys, that that's let's done. let's get this show on the road. You have entered the radio edit mode of the IR battle system. To adjust the values of the IR battle parameters, please use your radio. There, Please eh? select the main oh, battle mode sorry. between battle tank, repair tank, fighting vehicle or half track, and flak panzer. There, as you can see, what I've set up. Fighting it, vehicle or half track, um, repair tank. I'm being interrupted by myself battle tank. the whole way. Um, <laughs> I hope you can get to what went on just then, but um, if you have it on 3 and 4, ASP will turn on and recognize it's in... Uh, your edit mode for your IR system and then it will give you vo voice and both voice announcements and also display that on your LCD monitor screen okay now to adjust the parameters basically you should set up as you can Repair see here, tank. Here, if you can see on Fighting the top line here or half track at the moment it's Flag set on Panzer. channel 2 so as you go dial through channel 2 fighting vehicle or half track it will bring up the various Repair options. Repair tank. Battle tank. Okay, so we might set up for one of the more interesting modes. We might set up for the mouse super heavy tank mode. So the mouse is a battle tank, so we'll keep that there. And now to accept that setting, we basically fire the cannon. So that's 100% on channel 3. And Please select the weight class. Light class. Okay. So, and it'll move on. You'll hear a click that it's been accepted and you'll get a message to that effect. And then same again, you just dial through channel 2. Medium now, class. Heavy class. As you can also see down the bottom here, I have the, what is that, the signals coming in from the first four channels on your receiver. So you also get to check that your receiver is working. Special now, unit class. Now the mouse is a special unit, so you dial up to special unit and you select by again pressing the fire cannon which will be 100% on channel 3 special class selected please select between mouse super heavy tank mode mobile artillery automatic repair station or the automatic sentry mode we want mouse automatic sentry mode so that's down the other end so we'll dial back automatic down automatic repair station straight down to mouse, the mouse super heavy tank mode and we will accept that so now we set Your up as a mouse. Your current selection is mouse, super heavy tank mode. You may now set a custom magazine capacity. Now, again, people have been asking me, can I change the magazine capacity? 
Um, there are default magazine capacities, and to do that, you we're not going to set a magazine capacity here. I just want to run through fairly quickly. So um, by pressing the machine gun, which is a minus 100% on channel 3, that says no, and um, we can then set our default magazine, uh, sorry, our custom magazine capacity. But we want to just have the default, so we just accept that, yes, by firing the cannon. Your current selection is default magazine capacity. 40 rounds. And you may continue. now set a unique battle identification number. Now we to will choose the default battle identification number, accept at this point. Now, if we were just to fire the cannon again, we'll get the battle ID of 000, which is uh, you know free-for-all battle. But we're going to set a unit ID because I want to show you how that works. So to skip that step, we would fire the cannon, but we're not going to skip it. So we fire the machine gun. And now Zero. We, now we come up with setting the battle identification number. And again, there's three digits here to set. So you dial through channel One, two. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Six is good enough. We're gonna wait. We will set it to like say six. Oh, actually, we'll use seven two seven. Maybe seven. Maybe, oh, some sort of aircraft. Okay, seven. So we got it on seven. Fire the cannon. Seven. And it'll go to the next digit. Five, two, oh, one. Oh my God, jumbo. Three. Because it four, is a mouse after all. Four, seven. So we want a unit ID of seven four seven. Your current selection is battle unit ID. Seven, four, seven. You may now select one of the six equalization curves. Now one feature that you're probably, Travel cut. probably not aware of is that you can actually set um, equalization curves. So there's EQ curves available for the ASP Juno sound system. Uh, People using Airsoft, this is the only way you can actually get into that. This at the moment to, to change the settings. Of course, using your infrared uh, remote, you could have changed the settings as well. But uh, here we've got them in this mode, so you can dial through all the different EQs. Mid range cut, normal. So we've got, we've got a normal EQ, and then they basically will Basin, tell you. Basin, treble boost, mid range boost. Now, most of you will probably boost. go to that one. So let's go to that one. The current EQ curve selected is Base Boost. IR Battle System programming is now complete. Mouse, Super Heavy Tank Mode. Default, Magazine Capacity. 40 rounds. Battle Unit ID. 7, 4, 7. The current EQ curve selected is Base Boost. Please restart your ASP control unit. And there we are. We're all done. We've, we've programmed our ASP. We are now can run as the uh, Super Mouse Heavy Tank Mode, which of course fires your two-shot kill rounds uh, and uh, had, well has, has separate reload and um, lifetimes. And that's how easy it is. We've, we've set up with a default magazine capacity and a battle unit of an ID of 747, which means that any other tank you set up with the first digit also a 7, is going to be your friend. So if I was to set up another tank with the, the unit ID of a 727, and I fired at close range at that tank, the mouse round would not affect that tank. Um, it would simply bypass that tank and destroy your enemy further afield. So that's how the um, friend or foe system works. You basically, the first number of your battle ID is the team which you are on. So you would need to obviously have that set up prior to your battles. But anyway, that is how you can now program your ASP with the, the latest firmware updates coming along. And of course, obviously, you also will need to update some of the sounds. Now, um, we fixed a lot of the problems with the sounds with regards to how you get them in order. A lot of people have been having trouble copying sounds of the sound cards in the correct order. Um, because Windows doesn't do it as it should. Um, we've also now got a nifty utility that just within three clicks will um, sort out the file allocation tables on your SD cards. Um, very simple, very easy, and that has been a godsend. But anyway, um, that is how you can program the IR battle parameters now for your ASP using your radio, and that will be av available in the next firmware release and something that will be, ro be rolled out 
into all upcoming RCTA control boards and units. Thank you.